Cody and I wanted to test an actual circuit, and we tested something that was making a buzzing sound, but it just had a DC going into it, and it was kind of all enclosed. I found this old stroboscope, as you'll recall, and I thought it would be nice if the oscilloscope met the stroboscope and we could see what's going on inside. Now, when you open up something like this and it's plugged in, you gotta be really careful because you could die. Yeah. At the very least, you could start a fire, terrify yourself, but at the worst, you could die. Yeah. So please be careful here. Don't wanna die. Don't die today. Now I'm gonna use this meat hook function right here. Notice it pops off so I could do an, a delicate touching to these particular contacts, but if I do that, then uh, I run the risk of slipping and shorting out something. Yeah. I've connected the ground to what is this green wire here. This is actually going back to earth ground, and it's the same ground as the scope, and everything's cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this meat hook on here so that I can make contact with this particular location. I, um, I found an interesting location yeah. we could look at, and I uh, just wanted to uh, show you. Okay. Like, I'm grabbing one side of this capacitor right here, and I just thought that was pretty interesting. Something about this capacitor is generating a pulse. And we've got ourselves a setting where we can see that happening. There's a pulsing and um, I can change the frequency of the stroboscope and you can see what happens to the frequency of the pulsing. Like I can get this guy to almost freeze. And that's not exactly the same as what's going to the bulb that's Gotta flashing. That is a high voltage. Yeah, we can make it go forwards, and we can make it go back. This is a snake fight. Go, go, go! All right, or we could... Um, when we had it turned up earlier, we were seeing some really interesting structures here. So what you want to do now is you kind of know how to use the oscilloscope. You want to get to know the circuit that's inside your Tesla coil and try to figure out what it's supposed to look at various test points, mm -hmm. what it's supposed to look like, and put the sensor there and see what it is in fact doing at those test points. Now, when I connect it to the Tesla coil and I'm testing specific parts, look, look, look. it's a bunch of little snakes. <laughs> those are worms. Worms, my bad. Sure. Are the big snakes going to eat the worms? Yeah. You want to make the big snakes come back? Yeah. Eat the worms. There they are. <laughs> They're going to get them. They're over on the left side. Right. All right, Cody, what? All right. So when I'm testing the Tesla coil, I do have pictures of what specific parts are supposed to look like. You mean on a scope? Like scope pictures? Yeah. Cool. And that's in the troubleshooting guide. Neat. Um, and so when I connect it to specific components that it wants me to connect them to. Do I connect it in series or parallel or where do I put the specific sensors? Right. That is a really good question. We're going to need to get that circuit okay. in here. All right. Can you bring it in here? I can bring it in here. All right. Well, then we'll make that video later. All right. Deal. So we're going to make a, we're going to do a, a more specific investigation of a circuit with okay. known signals that we're supposed to be finding, known oscillations that are supposed to be present, mm -hmm. and see whether those are real. Because I don't know anything about this stroboscope. I just know that uh, that's very interesting. I also know it's that fun it's... fun to dance to. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a lot of nice um, capacitors in there, and um, something in here is generating a very high voltage that is giving us this uh, xenon pulse. Probably It's probably a xenon bulb. We'll have to do some spectroscopy on it later. Yeah. With a spectroscope! <laughs>